keep the flame. Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of the Solo Wargaming Show. So, something I have been highly anticipating has finally arrived, and that is the hardcover copy book of Five Parsecs from Home. So, this has been highly anticipated, and for those of you who were looking for some more episodes of The Adventures of Jake Mandrake, you will also be uh, very happy that I have now gotten this in my hands. So what I thought we would do today is take a look through it. It's pretty much the same thing. Well, it is the same thing as the PDF, but I just kind of want to go through it and just take a look at it, how it feels to have a book. I mean, I've I've said uh, before and a few people have kind of agreed with me in the comments. There's just something different about having an actual book in your hand as opposed to a PDF or a digital copy of something. I mean, it's just, it feels real. Uh, and I mean, it's just, you know, it just feels nice to have an actual book. So this is a hardcover. I would say this is a six by nine, uh, if, I, if my guess is right. So that is six. Yeah, so this is a six by nine, which is somewhat standard. Uh, for your smaller hardcovers like this. Now, if we were to compare this to uh, Frost Gray, for example, I think those are more of a nine by nine. Let me see if I have my Frost Gray because I didn't get a copy of Star Gray. Okay, so you can see here, I have the uh, old Frost Gray hardcover, which is actually the uh, same size as the Star Gray. So, and this is, I think, I think this is seven, seven and a half by about nine and three quarters so it's almost a ten by seven and a half so and if we were to lay this here that's about how much more book you get uh with a uh the frost grave publications and stuff so i mean i'd say both of these are very common uh hardcover books you know things that you will see very often if you if you get a hardcover book whether it's through a game publisher or a regular publisher so uh to kind of tell you the story of how i got this uh i was reached out to i believe by uh one of the guys at modifius uh about forwarding me something and you know, he eventually said, hey, I just want to get you a copy of the hardcover book. And what I didn't know, though, was that the copy would be signed by Ivan Sorensen, Keep the Flame. So if you heard that when we first got. So I just thought that was pretty cool. You know, I'm a small channel. People don't do stuff like that for me. So I actually thought that was pretty cool. I was very appreciative to get the book. Uh and you guys know how much I've I've enjoyed uh, being introduced to the world of five parsecs from home. Uh, so, but if we go through the book, I will tell you this: even though the book itself is is small as far as the uh, cover, the the text is pretty much the text looks like it is the same size as what you get in you know your Osprey publications. So it is not like this is not squinched down text. Uh, and so we have some call out boxes here. Uh, we have the art. And I mean, it's just something better with seeing it like this than seeing it with the, uh, the PDF. Because I will say, I think my PDF kind of got misformatted in places. And sometimes it was hard to tell, you know, where a section began or ended. Uh, on some of the pages whereas with this everything follows you know exactly where it should follow uh, now like I said I do not think there's any changes in here from when the PDF was released because I think by time I got the PDF this had already been sent off to the printer 
So it is pretty much uh, exactly what you get in the PDF. But I mean, it is. I tell you what, this is a beautiful format in that Modifius has. I would love to get him some of my some of my books and ask him to format those for me because this is I, I've I've had some experience trying to format books and publications and it is not as easy. I think often when we get a product like this, we really take for granted how much effort goes into something as simple as these frames here or the text being a different color or the different fonts or even inserting pictures this is all a lot of graphic heavy work to the point where you're almost literally working every page page by page you know you're designing every page so it is i i have a lot of appreciation now for layout and graphic work and uh i think i think modifius does some of the best out there so this is uh this is uh exactly what i have been waiting on especially in game and to be honest with you i do like the small size because if you are playing and you want to pick up the book and check something real quick this is pretty light i mean and i can i can tab a page or put a sticky note over a page and i can quickly pick this up and flip to that without kind of having to like rumble through it or lay it out some find somewhere to lay it next to my game table i mean you can just grab this very quickly and uh get to the section you're looking for so most of this i'm just kind of flipping through to show you guys uh how it how it finally came out this is the lore part which i really like so uh I really like the lore that he, that he started, and I, I think he's a, actually expanding that in some of the publications. Now, this is a map that really did not come out good in the PDF, but as you see it in the book now, you can tell this is a layout of a some type of either city or colony or outpost. So you could really use this for some games or some uh, some some scenarios, right? If you wanted to lay this industrial structure out. Or lay this this area out right here. Uh, you have the Coca Arms Factory, Honest Mo's Recycled Robotics, which is here. So all of these you could use into some type of game element where a scenario takes place. You have the appendices. He talks about the new addition. Now, see, I never got to any red zone mission, so I am looking forward to that. And then he takes that up another level. I think it is in called the Trailblazers Handbook or something. He takes that up even to another level. So we're going to also begin to look at that. My, my collection, I think, is finally where I want it to be, where I can just about do whatever it is I, I want to do in the game. Uh, I'm thinking I got most of his aliens. I mean, he threw me for a curve in Bug Hunt when he came out with the plant people. And I had to uh, do some ad hocing, <laughs> just throwing some flock on bases just to make the plant people. But that was fun. Uh, he talks a lot about his inspiration. Firefly, of course. Blade Runner. Soldier. I have not really seen Soldier. I think that is Kurt Russell. But I, I might try to look at that. Uh, Star Wars, the Clone Wars animated series. Tabletop games, Warhammer 40K, Warzone, Laser Burn. I'm not familiar with Laser Burn. Traveler, Mega Traveler, we all know that. Mutant Rimmed and Mutant Chronicles. So he said these are two Swedish role playing games, which I'm not familiar with. He has video games, Mass Effect series. Now, my son liked that. I never played it. Borderlands. Now, you know what I don't see on here is Doom, the, the video game or the. Uh, the board game. I, I thought that I thought I liked that movie. I know a lot of people thought it was kind of corny or something, but I I liked it. Uh, and then some ads and things from Modifius and the nice quick reference pages right here in the back, actually bound to the back of the book. So if you can if you get the back of the book flipped open, you're gonna see your weapon references, your campaign turn and steps. And your battle round reference. And these are going to be your most commonly referenced portions of the game. 
So yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you guys that, that we did get our uh, hard copy of Five Parsecs from Home. Uh, I did read a recent update from Ivan where he was saying that uh, the shipments for the U.S. pre-orders had initially got tied up in Great Britain and Customs. Then they made it to the U.S. and got tied up in the U.S. and Customs. But apparently all of that has been released. They actually have done a second printing of this. This was so popular. So I really thank everybody that got the word out. I thank everybody that uh, that did pre-orders for this because uh, I was watching another guy's channel, a guy named Runehammer, or I think his name is Brandon, but he called Runehammer, who has a book that they Modifius is going to be doing. And uh, he was saying how the pre-order is very important to keeping the series alive and getting more content. So I just wanted to personally thank you guys, everybody that has done a pre-order and came. Because this was a game by, by this guy. This, you know, this was from his heart. This was a product that was already out there. And it's very rare that a publisher will pick up a product that is already out and self-published. I mean, that's kind of like in the, in the real publishing world, that's kind of like the kiss of death. If you self-publish your book, you can almost forget about it ever being republished uh, by a big publishing house. So for Modifius to do this and for it to, to, to pay back so well that they're doing a second run, I just really think that's a win for, for the small guys out there. And this is something that was not hyped up by the big channels. This did not appear on Ash. It was not on uh it was not on, you know, Goober Town or any of those places. This was just strictly word of mouth from gamers to gamers to gamers. And I just think that is so cool. Right? That is so cool. And uh I just wanted to do a big thank you to you guys and a big thank you to Ivan and them. Uh and yeah, hopefully we will be getting some more games and some more products out on this. I mean, I'm still working a lot, so it's kind of hard to, to really set up the type of games I like to play. But uh, now that I have this book, I can actually go through this. I can go through the Trailblazers thing, and I'm trying to put together an ideal uh, that I think you guys are going to find cool. Because I'm going to tie this in with Bug Hunt. I'm going to tie this in with Chrome Hammer Ascension, and I'm going to tie it in with the uh, with the expansions and the supplements. So it's really going to be real cool, real overarching. Uh, so we will see. But thanks a lot, guys. Uh, take care. And like I said, if you pre-ordered a copy, it should be arriving soon because uh, I think everything has everything has been released. So th they should be getting in your hands. Take care and God bless.